Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drada. Today you still get people that are foolish enough to argue that the Bible must be inaccurate and have been altered because of how it has been copied and translated so many times over the centuries. However, all the evidence we have just uh, points in a very different direction, that there has been great faithfulness and great accuracy in how the Bible has been uh, copied and how it has been translated. An example of this is uh, a book that is actually going up on sale uh, in May in New York. It's going to be up for auction. It's the Codex Sassoon, and it's a copy of the Bible that goes back to about, of the Old Testament, that goes back to about 900 AD. We know that in the 13th century it was being used in a synagogue in Syria and somehow it's found its way down almost entirely intact. Only 12 pages are missing from it uh, up to the present day. So uh, we're, we're talking now over 1100 years old. And the wonderful thing, of course, is that when we look at the accuracy, we look at the, the what this copy of the Old Testament actually says, and we look at the words that are there, and we just see it tallies wonderfully with all later manuscripts as well. Uh, now this Codex Sassoon is interesting because it's actually the, the oldest Bible we have that contains all the 24 books of the Old Testament. And now I know some of you when I say that are saying, 24, isn't there 39? We'll get there in a moment. But it's got all the 24 books of the Old Testament with all the vowels and the punctuation marks and everything else. Because in Hebrew, you wrote down just the consonants and uh, and sometimes manuscripts are written down without having any vowels there. And so you sort of had to try and guess that a little bit. And so they developed a system where they'd put little dots up and above, above and below to, to mark where the punctuation and where the vowels were. And this is the oldest manuscript we have that covers all 24 books of the Old Testament and has all the punctuation marks and the vowels and everything else. Now, when I said 24 books, and you're saying, well, if I look in my Bible, there's 39 books. Don't worry, we have the same books. It's just that in the Hebrew Bible, what we've split into two books or more are contained as one book. So first and second Samuel are just one book. First and second Kings are just one book. First and second Chronicles are just one book. Ezra and Nehemiah are put together as one book. And what we call the minor prophets, the smaller books of the prophets, there's 12 of them. They are just one put together as one book in the, the Hebrew scriptures. And so basically we have the same as our Old Testament and it's been copied down. And you know what? We go back, we go back even to uh, the Dead Sea Scrolls around about the time of Jesus, and we find their uh, copies, not full copies, but copies of, of books of the Old Testament. And again, we see this incredible accuracy in how they were copied down. Because the people that try to make out there's been some kind of game of Chinese whispers with things being changed a whole lot as they were passed on, overlook one vital thing. The more important you believe a message to be, the more carefully you will make sure that you transmit it properly. You know, if I'm just passing somebody's message on to my wife, uh, I might mix, a bit, mix it up, mix a few words up. If it's just something that a friend said, it doesn't really matter. But if, if I was giving her a password for, uh, I don't know, for a, a banking website where I said, if you are ever in a deadly situation and you urgently need money, this is the website, this is the username, this is the password. I would be so careful that I would get it right. You know, the more important it is, the more concerned you are that you copy it accurately. And the Word of God is more important to believers than anything else in the world. And that's why the idea that it was carelessly copied, it goes against common sense, it goes against everything we know about believers and how they reverence the Word of God, and it goes against the very evidence that we have in manuscripts like Codex Sassoon that show us how accurately the Bible has both Old Testament and New Testament has been translated and copied so that we have it in our hands today. So I want to encourage you, God, God has made it possible for you to hold his very word in your hands. Therefore, take the time. Take the time to read the Bible. Take the time today to apply it into your life in Jesus' name. God bless you. Join us again next time for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda.